Okay, folks, I apologize. This is literally the third time that I'm trying to connect to make this stream working. Alors, je m'excuse, ça fait genre trois fois que je recommence. Euh... Une fois parce que la connexion Internet n'était pas bonne, l'autre fois j'ai reçu un appel, l'autre fois la connexion Internet n'était pas bonne non plus. So, wish me luck here. That's the fleece I'm using. It's a, it's a raw, raw alpaga fleece. It's not wash. It's raw from the cut. Donc ça c'est de l'alpaga qui a pas de, qui a pas été lavé. I'm recording it because I want to show uh, to show how the fleece is after one pass. Donc je fais le vidéo parce que je veux je veux que vous voyez de quoi a l'air la, la toison après un passage. Et aussi hello. Um, I open the fleece like this before carding. So hopefully, <laughs> hello, how are you? Hopefully, um, by sharing this, maybe we could all together improve uh, the craft. Thank you for the thumbs up. the first one that's that one is um, a strouch from strouch fiber but the first one yeah I I know a lot of people are looking for the carding um, <laughs> good morning to you a lot of people are watching YouTube video to to help them choose the right machine for them This is gonna help other people, but because those machines are very expensive. The first one I had is uh, was the wild, the the small one, the wild drum carter from Ashford. The the one with the, a lot of dog fleece. Well, I was discuss discussing with uh, someone who has a car an electric cordle like this and she doesn't have a speed variation on, on his carter, her carter. And she said she wish she could change the speed to a slower, okay, because for more long fleece, when she have um, she has long fleece 
and very fine she thinks um, if the speed is too high it could break the fiber maybe This is what she said. It was a Lue, Lue, a vintage Lue. No, you can, you can, uh, sometimes I use just half. Sometimes I use just half of the drum. I just card in this part here if I just have to card a small amount. Or you can use a, a thinner layer too, as long as you have enough fleece to remove it in a single um, portion. You don't have to to fill the drum totally. There is a smaller version version of this. They make it uh, half half the size. This this is the double wide. And the toot. <laughs> well, I I've not used others, but um, I could I could a lot of a lot of fiber artists come to me to share their experience, so I could I could share them with you. The tooth are uh, 13 millimeters for the big drum. 13 millimeters. And this is the 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 coarse cloth. <laughs> this is the coarse, not the fine, because I work mainly with uh, coarse fleece. I would suggest you go for a coarse, a coarse cloth too, if you you are working with a lot of dog. Is that considered fine? No. No. There is two. Uh, this maker is is using two different uh, TPE cloth. This one is for a coarse, so it's not it's medium fine, not fine. But I use it with alpaga and I didn't have any trouble with it, honestly. I use very fine fleece in it and it's okay. Especially since there is the, um, the variation, the speed variation button. You could vary, you could vary the, yeah. Well, someone who purchased this is someone who card a lot, obviously. And yes, this is the most versatile. I think. There is also the fancy kitty one. But the chain belt, uh, I like that a lot. The speed, yes, because when I'm uh, when I have to work more quicker, you could improve. This is the maximum speed.
<laughs> no, no, you will have to contact Strauch Fiber. Contact uh, them on their, on their website and they, they will assist you to see which carter is the more uh, the, is the best for you. They have a website. Um, when I will finish the, web, the, um, the streaming, I'm gonna put the link uh, through the website. I don't have, there is no distributor in Canada here for this, for this uh, brand of carding machine. I had, to, I had to order directly from the maker in USA, Virginia. They are located in Vir Virginia. But if you are in USA, you, yeah, for a while. Well, I, um, I did other live stream, but I think I, I deleted them. They were on Periscope to show, um, because I think that they, they, there's not enough um, video of this machine online to compare. We need to see the different fiber, all the, they are processed into this machine. I do not use any pre uh, cord. I do not use the machine only for blending. I using, let me make payment on one. Oh my goodness, you are lucky. <laughs> You're lucky. I work only with raw fleece. This is what I wanted to say. I do not buy any pre-card fleece, so um, I could I could talk a lot about um, how the machine is performing um, for them. But of course, if it works for that, um, Violet, il faut juste me dire s'il y a des gens qui parlent jamais français avec moi, je peux pas vraiment savoir si je dois parler en français. So um, for the person asking for um, the fibers that I use, I do not use uh, commercial fleece and pre-card fleece. I only use um, raw fleece. But I may I may do uh, a review of the machine. I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it on, on, on YouTube. It may be on Periscope. Donc je disais en, en anglais, je disais que moi je travaille avec des, des toisons brutes. J'achète pas de fibres commerciales. Je travaille juste à partir des, des toisons que des toisons brutes, donc sales et avec la matière végétale dedans. Donc je peux parler de comment la machine performe avec ce type de film. Euh, mais c'est sûr que je suis pas la meilleure personne pour euh, parler comment ça va fonctionner avec du mérino qu'on achète euh, en magasin là, puis qui est déjà cardé. Je, je suis en tout cas. Moi j'ai acheté la machine pour carder les toisons brutes. You're gonna see how the machine is working uh, after one pass, a single pass. And you have seen me um, put the fiber in it. You have seen what I do. Where's my hook?
Ça, c'est le résultat de, du cardage après un seul passage. Je pense honnêtement qu'il y a des fibres que ça fonctionne mieux dans la machine. Il y a des fibres qui fonctionnent moins bien. Donc, ça dépend du type de fibre que vous utilisez. Moi, j'utilise beaucoup de moutons euh, avec beaucoup de crimp. C'est beaucoup plus difficile à garder. So, um, I use mainly alpaga and local wool with a lot of crimp. And I found... There is some fiber that are more easy to card, but I'm, I'm still testing. I received the machine in uh, March this year, and I'm still testing. I think maybe not only the texture uh, vary the carding process, I think also the, um, the length of the fiber vary the efficiency of the carding. So this is the result after one pass. And of course, this is not perfect. I do not have a picker. I have no space. And um, well, I'm, I'm not so much interested into a picker. Well, it's not ready. Yeah, this is not. Um, if you spin that, if you spin that, you will end up with a lot of texture and maybe extra work, extra work uh, for carding uh, for um, for Aurore. Uh, merci. Uh, C'est plus facile pour moi de traduire sur YouTube que de Periscope. C'est une catastrophe sur Periscope. Um, so you you could. You could spin uh, this uh, fiber as it is, but you will you will have extra work to do with the drafting and your finger to smooth it because it's not the fiber are not totally parallel. But it also depends of what kind of work you are searching to do, what's your preference, what kind of yarn you are doing. For me, I'm doing a lot of different yarn. I do all sorts of yarn. But I have a personal preference for uh, texture yarn, which means rustic, big, chunky, irregular, not even. So um, perfect cording is not really necessary. But still, we are all searching to detangle those fleece. Donc, je disais en français que on peut filer le, on peut filer la l'alpaga la, la, comme elle est là en ce moment. Mais ça, c'est c'est pas c'est pas parfait comme cardage. Là. Si si vous si vous filez ça, il reste encore des nœuds dedans. Il, il reste beaucoup d'irrégularité. Ça dépend bien sûr du type de fil que vous voulez faire. Mais euh, ça, c'est pas euh, c'est pas suffisant pour moi là. Même pour moi qui aime la l'irrégularité, c'est pas suffisant. J'ai une préférence pour les fils rustiques, là, mais ça, euh, non, ça ne passe pas pour moi. <rire> um, de toute façon, moi, c'est euh, pour dans ce cas-ci, c'était pour euh, du feutrage, donc je vais le laisser comme ça, c'est prêt pour feutrer. Mais l'intérêt de mon vidéo, c'était vraiment de pouvoir partager avec vous euh, le, de quoi ça a l'air après un passage, parce que je pense que c'est... Euh, ben, on, on cherche toutes... Euh, on cherche toutes des vidéos pour voir de quoi ça a l'air hein, avant d'acheter. So, um, I thought that would be maybe important to, to share with you um, after a discussion with other fiber artists. So, what I think, uh, I initially uh, bought this machine because I use, with, I use it a lot with uh, fiber uh, wool with a lot of crimp. Donc, j'utilise beaucoup de laine avec... Uh, um, qui est très mêlée avec beaucoup de crimp. Et puis, euh, mon, mon avis est partagé. J'ai encore beaucoup de passages à faire avec la machine. C'est très long. So, um, my, my opinion is this is a very good machine. Uh, it's, of course, uh, there is no price uh, for saving your shoulder because I got a frozen shoulder. 
uh, by carting manually without electric motor and um, but um, I think concerning myself uh, if I want to process this fiber here that I have behind um, my house for my neighbors I would I would need something with more drums so in one pass it could equal to three two or three pass because I blend the local wool with alpaga to make it more soft and beautiful and with less puffiness because it's really really puffy and uh, well I have I'm in a in my I, I'm in a real dilemma because that was an adventure that I test this year and I have two choice um, one is to reduce my usage of the local wool because of the texture and the extra work that um, require or to buy another kind of machine which is absolutely not made for blending but just to process the wool um, I'm I will probably look for uh, something second hand from someone who had a mini a mini mills something like that but it's not for now because those things they cost the price of a car so uh, a lot of people suggest me to reduce uh, my usage of uh, local wool because it required too much work for what it is uh, but I'm still searching solution and well we will see what I decide um, that's the result of my experience folks it's it required too much pass in the carding machine and I have seen other people carding with this machine other kind of wool and it's perfect in one pass or two pass but this is not the, ca the case I'm gonna show you the wool in question you will understand um, what I'm talking about that's the material in question So those fiber, they are very, very crimpy. Uh, coarse, crimpy and short, which means it's really difficult to push the fiber and make it obey to uh, be in one direction. They really tend to um, to, they want to go in all direction naturally they don't want to keep to stay straight because they are too frizzy and too short see this is I think the maximum is really this length that I got for a shape Well, what would happen with this life since I've been disconnect and reconnect? I don't know. Well, if someone see me live, uh, just uh, say hello so I could I could know that you're here because I've been disconnect again. And I don't know what happens if the live will continue or if I'm just talking to myself. So yeah, that's, that's the, the wool. It's not pick, it's just... Uh, this is how it looks. I'm back. Yes, I'm back. This is how it looks after I I washed it. And the, it's you see there is a lot of knots. Thank you. So that's this is to show you the texture, how it looks. And it's very different from alpaga. This is alpaga. It's a fine one, uh, probably approximately uh, 20 micron, 20 micron or under. And the wool here is more between 25 and 30 micron. And this, those are 
well the locks the main locks are longer they are two inches and I th I think all of that to say that I think I think the more long the, your fleece are the more easy it is to make them parallel in the corning machine je pense que peut-être que plus que les fibres sont longues plus, plus que c'est facile de les, de les garder dans la machine parce que c'est plus facile de comme les attraper c'est comme les pneus hein? plus le fait plus le plus, plus le pneu d'une voiture est petit plus il y a de d'adhérence sur la route l'hiver um, imagine just an example that I gave this week recently to explain that is uh, imagine that you you are brushing very very short air it is difficult to keep them in place because when you brush you have very short air it's difficult to keep them in place and to order them to to be in one single direction but if you have long air I mean um, air long like this and you brush them they will mainly go all in one direction so I see the fleece the exact same way um, I think uh, probably the ideal long length of fiber would be more three or four inches but if you are dealing with me with fiber like like the fiber that ha I have which are between one and two inches it's very difficult to to cord so it's true that the fiber I work with is very difficult for all those reasons due to the dirtiness the amount of vegetable matter in it um, the shortness the crimp all of this but if you don't deal with all of those flaws um, you will probably enjoy <laughs> much more the cording and the cording process will be yeah uh, well maybe a uh, high pocket you you may want to to blend it with another fiber see a complementary fiber like like I do I blend this coarse fiber with alpaga and alpaga is very soft supple uh, fine and sleek there is no crimp in alpaga there is no puffiness um, so I blend both together and it really I really love the result but um, this is 12 pass in the machine 12 if I wanted the if I wanted good Donc c'est 12 passages pour moi dans la machine de mélanger la laine locale avec l'alpaga. Honnêtement, c'est pas rentable, c'est trop de temps. Donc c'est ça, j'ai des décisions à prendre par rapport à ça, au type de fibre que je vais continuer d'utiliser. Mais si vous n'avez pas comme moi, aïe ya. And I tried everything, okay? I, I really tried everything. I'm gonna do other video because I did on Facebook, but I didn't on YouTube, how I blend them and how I, I managed to... Okay, okay. See you soon, bye-bye. Um, I will share with you all the, the the tips and all the methods that I use to be more the more efficient, but it still be a lot of time. So I'm not sure it is a good idea to continue this way. Mais, mais si vous si vous êtes pas pris avec des des fibres comme moi, c'est-à-dire courtes avec du beaucoup beaucoup de crimp, du gaufrage là, euh, euh, avec beaucoup de matière végétale, sale, tout mêlé, tout ça ensemble. Euh, probablement que vous allez euh, vous allez pas travailler autant que ça pour euh, arriver à vos fins. Hein. Un passage ou deux serait suffisant à mon avis avec euh, les autres types de fibres pour en avoir essayé et puis aussi pour avoir échangé avec d'autres personnes qui ont d'autres types de machines. So that's the way it is. Uh, I hope uh, that has been useful. I'm gonna do other YouTube live, especially about the coding, because they are the one that people are request most. Donc je vais en faire d'autres vidéos de cardage. Vous inquiétez pas. Uh, non, moi je carte pas mon noir. Il y a vraiment aucune façon que je vais carder le noir parce que je trouve que c'est important de garder la structure de la de cette fibre là. 
Et puis, quand j'utilise le mot R, c'est vraiment pour euh, des effets de boucler dans la laine. Donc, je n'ai pas de cardage pour moi. Euh, je garde, je, je file directement de la toison sans, sans passer ça dans la machine. Ce n'est pas pour moi. Et le pas, je fais pas, je garde pas non plus aucune des toisons qui ont beaucoup de structure dedans, beaucoup de boucles. Je les garde pour euh, des effets de des effets dans la laine. So, um, someone asked me if I if I cut mohair with the machine. No, I don't. I never did that. I'm not gonna do it because when I purchase mohair, it's expensive, and I want to use it uh, and spun spin from the locks. Uh, to keep the texture, um, I could show you the, the, the kind of yarn that I do with it. And I never caught this. This is the, the kind of yarn that I do with mohair. So this is mohair and silk. So c'est soie et mohair. Un petit peu de soie, le reste du mohair. Donc j'ai pas, moi j'ai pas d'expérience pour garder le mohair. C'est pas quelque chose que j'ai accès en grosse quantité. Donc c'est sûr que quand quand j'utilise, c'est avec parcimonie, puis c'est vraiment pour euh, la, la donner de la texture, varier la texture dans un fil, comme toutes les autres euh, toisons que j'achète qui ont du bouclé. So those are the um, uh, some knit, knitting that I did with the locks, and those are BFL locks. I don't cut this either. This is for the texture. Donc ça aussi c'est la même chose, je garde pas ça là, ces belles boucles là. Those beautiful locks, do not, do not cut this. You could include this into your, your cording machine, but at the end, when you are finished, when you are done. So to, it, it adds texture, but it doesn't open the lock. So when I, I use this, um, When I use this in the cording machine, I, I put them on the drum, not between both of the drum, but on the drum. Quand j'utilise des locks comme ça dans, dans, le, dans la machine à, à carder, je les mets vraiment par-dessus euh, par la brosse du drum, de sorte qu'elle ne se fait pas carder dans le fond. Je, je la mets dessus, je pousse. Pas, pas entre les deux drums, sinon ça va, ça va tout euh, l'ouvrir. This is also a kind of yarn that I did uh, with a blend that I card, but when I when I spun it, um, I include the locks, but the locks were separate; they were not in the blend of the um, the machine. So all the locks that you see, I include them into the yarn by hand when I'm when I was spinning. Donc les locks ici. Ah, <rire> mon Dieu. Um, je cherche des endroits. Moi, je suis... C'est <rire> vraiment pas quelque chose que j'ai en quantité. J'en ai... J'en utilise même pas en ce moment parce que ce qui me reste, je le garde au cas où quelqu'un m'en demande. Parce que j'ai acheté ce qu'il y avait quand ils ont fait la tente. Puis je peux plus en acheter d'autres. Il n'y en a pas d'autres. Yeah! Oh, you're there, Chris! Well, I was going to end this uh, YouTube. I had so much trouble. Uh, I restart this four times, I think, and um, I have been uh, disconnected when I was streaming. They say the connection is not good. Donc pour ceux qui auraient des connexions pour des 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 des, des, des fibres, um, ben pas en ce moment, je peux pas acheter là, mais uh, plus tard. <laughs> It's welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna hand this because I'm gonna scope. <laughs> I think I'm gonna scope. I'm gonna try. <sighs> Some days it's not easy on Periscope. And I have, yeah. You saw, so what, that my, my connection cut has been, I've been disconnect. Um, I'm wondering why it happens to me Why I have so much people coming to my scope asking me all sorts of questions that are totally in irrelevant. <laughs> Merci Aurore. Vous pouvez me contacter sur les autres médias sociaux pour en discuter plus tard. Là. Ça marche. Ok. Je m'en vais sur Periscope. 
And I'm going to do the filtration on Periscope. So I'm going to scope. Uh, I'm going on Periscope. Felting. Felting mittens. This is what I'm going to do. I have two pairs to do here. Wish me luck. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the camera so we will not see all of my face because it's just it's something <laughs> okay thank you bye bye